I grew up in the small town in upstate New York called Tupper Lake. Tucked in the middle of the Adirondack Mountains. I love my life. Until the move to Maine. I was devastated by the move and hated the empty streets of Augusta. I was a stranger in a strange land full of oddities I was not yet used to. very depressed and lonely, yearning for my old friends in New York. I was 10, forced to move away. I had to do something, and something fast, or this town was going to destroy me. I needed a friend. Okay, we moved from New York, and Zach missed his friends so much. Zach was crying. Now, he has since said that it was fake crying, but I thought it was real. And I said, would getting a puppy make you feel better? And he said, yes. And so we went and got a dumb puppy. Me and Satch came upon a litter of woodcocks. Yeah. They're not called a litter, dude. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I came upon a flock of woodcocks, and... Man, that stuff smells bad. And, shh, I'm Thanks, telling Brett. the story. And from, put her, Satch put her mouth over the woodcock's wing, and I thought, you know, this bird is ruined for life, Satch winged it. Mm -hmm. And I ended up killing the woodcock Maybe my, myself. You, how can you even sleep Correct. at night now? An innocent woodcock. Yeah, is dead because of you. A flock of them just... I figure there has to be something in my karma that keeps me alive. I, I must be a good person because that act is just horrific. Fiction! Pulp fiction! <laughs> That's my family, except for one member, my older sister, who is a naturopathic doctor in Seattle, and every once in a while comes east to rock out with the family crew. I guess you could say my family isn't the typical family from Maine. We have a little more of what we call funk and soul than most living around us. Now, a lot has changed since the infamous move 10 years ago. For one, I've accepted Augusta as my hometown. In fact, I've grown to love it in all its strange splendor. And most of my best friends are those in which I met in Augusta. Now I'm in college in Boston, beginning the next cycle to becoming a mature grown-up with a steady job, suit and tie, nice haircut, wife, kids, and of course, the family dog. But I'll never forget how sad I felt when I moved. But more importantly, I'll never forget how much Satch helped me through it all. I guess you have to be a dog person to understand how an animal can help you so much. Being in Boston and away from home, if I have any free time, I go home to see my family but mostly to see my dog and my best friend, Satch. And I had to make a special visit to see her recently because we just found out she had bladder cancer and she was going to need surgery. She's eight years old. She's gonna live 
Mm, another 10 years. Okay. Another 7 years. More than 4 years. She's in good shape. Another 6 years. So he's gonna be the old. Can't wait for old Sachi. Don't have to walk her as much, and she just hangs around the house. And I go. Oh! Satch survived the surgery and was looking like her old self again, although the vet said the cancer wasn't fully gone. But in any case, I had to get back to Boston and continue my hard work and dedication to school. I was continuing my studious behavior when I got a call from my mom. She was crying and my heart stopped. I knew something was very wrong. She said the word, Satch, and I knew what was coming. Satch had fallen very ill suddenly. She couldn't eat, chase squirrels, or even kiss my mom. They didn't want to make a decision on her life until I came to Maine. So I dropped my books and I went home. I'm sorry, they are responsible for it. And right now, there's been as many people in Iraq as... Oh, you're not recording this, are you? Now stop it, Zach! <laughs> stop it! No! Why not? No, 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 Zach, don't do it. Why not? Don't do it, please! Zach, Zach <laughs> turn it off, turn it off. Okay. All right, it's off. Okay, Zach. I'm just ranting and raving. I'm not. <laughs> so what? <laughs> yeah, but this is this is all about Satch, not about me talking anti Cheney. Yeah. I mean, I don't want it on the record that that with my dog this sick, I'm talking about some asshole. Yeah. He and no, none of the world leaders are worth as much as Satch. None of them. None of them. There's nobody that's worth it. Even Prince. Oh my even God. Prince isn't worth as much as that. She continues to want to kill the mailman. Mm -hmm. she Can't can. we just sacrifice that stupid guy? And let her kill him. <laughs> our, He's our, our thing for the judge. He's would, nice, though. He's nice, but it would make Satch feel so good to kill him. Yeah. I really am not she's, she's, comfortable with this choosing the day to die thing. Oh, Zach, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Let's see, about well, four days ago, we could give her the freeze dried liver and she would take it, but she won't anymore. I'll try it back.
I didn't get to see her as a puppy because I was um, immersed in the lifestyle of shit and crap. Um, the shit and crap I'm referring to is um, the many drugs I used to take. And Satch was around in that time of my life and she helped me um, get through uh, some real hard times and Satch knew I was an asshole as a young kid. Um, I knew it. Everyone around me knew it. Um, but what she did was she forgave me. Um, she didn't judge me about, uh, she didn't judge me for my past, um, transgressions and um, she just I, I guess the best way to say it is Sat just kept on moving forward I had my last words with Sat she gave me her last kiss I saw how much pain she was in I shed a tear because my best friend was going to be gone but also, I was thinking of all the great memories I had with her. We would go out back, play in the woods, chase after frogs. My dog was dying, but also, in essence, my childhood was dead too. Her death made a realization that that part of my life was over. you convinced how, dad how'd you convince dad you i cry? think did you cry no i i complete i don't cry i lie i said let's just go check let's just go check the puppies just just check just check and i said believe me if this lady has a puppy farm and if she's overcharging i simply will just drive away and so that got him we get there, it's a puppy farm, she's overcharging. <laughs> and and it's like you get him there, get? like, and, you know. Well, as I've always said, uh, this zoo shall pass. And um, zoos are always adding new members. This zoo will pass the test of time. And our new member is called Sly. I just happened, I don't know how I did it, but at this point in time, in this solar system on this planet, the best and cutest dog happens to be this guy. Yeah, dogs uh, will be a part of our life because uh, like it or not, Sly is here, in the now. <laughs> Sly is, is uh, one of our, um, one of our kind. One, Sly is a Schultz. So a new chapter begins, and now we got a little hellion on our hands. Although Sly is a Schultz, 
He's not as much my dog as Satch was. I won't have the same memories with Sly that I had with Satch. Now the real world as they call it is upon me. I'm turning 21 soon and graduating college in a year. My older sister is soon getting married and pregnant with a boy. It still hasn't quite sunk in that my sister will be a wife and a mom. And not only that, I'm going to be an uncle. I've been with my girlfriend Sarah for almost three years and we're already saving up change to get our own puppy whenever we're ready. With the help from the love of Satch, Nat has been sober for a year and a half and about to graduate college. He's been through a lot, but these days I couldn't be any prouder to have him as my older brother. So, life goes on, but no matter what happens, I'll always remember good old Satchmo. Chase it! Chase it! Oh. <laughs> Attack Satch! Attack! Attack! But, no matter where I am, I'll always be a Schultz at heart, rocking out the funk whenever possible. Let's hit it! Can we hit and quit? Here we hit it! Ready? Yes. Ready? To the right. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Now the thing is with dogs is that we've got to get them things because I'll tell you why. If it wasn't for dogs, we would not. Be. The Homo sapiens had wolves, and turn that in turn had dogs. And Neanderthals never had wolves. The, the the surviving primate was the one that had dogs. So we wouldn't even be here without them. So. Part, the part in evolution that where they eat their own shit, does that, how does that fit into this? Well, our um, thanks to dogs for us. I think, um. Yeah.